that's the painting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was definitely a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, but I think it turned out good in the end. I am definitely going to be doing more like this because it's kind of a lot of fun and I like, I like the quirkiness of it. Adding in like the different uh, tapes, uh, like bands and stuff on the tapes. I like, I like that kind of, kind of look. I may even try to do this with other uh, music listening medias as well, like CDs and records maybe, if I can figure out a way to make it look visually uh, intriguing. Probably wouldn't be able to do that with digital downloads, wouldn't make any sense. But, I don't know, I liked it, I hope you liked it too. Oh, also one thing, uh, I left the tape at the top blank so that when people bought either the original or prints, they'd be able to have their own uh, label put on there. So if it was like, you know, John Smith and Betty Sue love tape mix songs 2020 or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my first painting of 2020. Uh, I enjoyed painting it. I'll see you again. Well, I probably won't see you, but hopefully you will stick around to see me. So this is the reference photo that I had a friend take for me. And uh, I basically modeled everything off of referencing this tape here for dimension and basically scale and all that stuff. So what I did is I took a scrap piece of paper, put it up against the screen, drew my line, uh, on on the uh, on this edge here or end, and then redrew it several times, and then put it against this side, and then put in my ticks, and then I decided that each one of these spaces was two inches, and then kind of did a little bit of math to figure out how everything else would work. Going up the stack, I kind of just did the same thing. So I measured what all the different pieces were. So here would be two, four, six, eight, ten, and about three quarter inches for this tape here from this side to this side. And then I had to figure out what this dimension, like the measurement from here to the this corner was, and then uh, kind of use uh, my judgment on what the angle was based off of the little bits of triangles. And since all of these are at different angles, it made it a little difficult. This wasn't big enough to fill up my whole canvas, so I also added another tape underneath that was basically straight, and then I started stacking more tapes on top. And for that, I didn't have a reference photo, so I kind of just kind of did what I thought was going to work, and that's where I got into the problem of making it look like it belonged. In the end, I think it worked out, but it definitely took some time to try to get perspective. <laughs>